Hey everyone, Michelle Markey with Medina Domestic Arts Studio. And I'm getting ready to go to the clean show and it's so flipping hot out there right now that instead of loading up my car, I am gonna do a video instead. And it's actually because a young lady of almost 80 years old contacted me this week and she had just some very basic questions about using acrylic markers and then using the fabric paint. So this is for her. She knows who she is, but if the rest of you get something out of this, that's great. Um, so what I have here are just the plain acrylic markers that I've been using, and I've done it on these two. By the way, brand new patterns. Um, for those of you who wonder where I've been getting some of my patterns, I have to confess I've recently subscribed to Shutterstock. That's S-H-U-T-T-E-R-S-T-O-K dot com. I'll put the link in the description below. Um, they actually have quite a good, uh, a, a wide variety of vector art and other types of images. Yeah, you do have to pay. Now, I'm in business. It makes sense for me to pay up for some of these really high quality images that they have. And this was one of them. This is also going to be available in a DTF, so I just wanted you to, to, to know about that first. Um, but but I, I really want this video to be focused on the, um, the acrylic marker issue and how to use them. And yes, I'm spilling all of my markers uh, all over the page. Oh, wow. Wow, they even give you instructions. You know, this may be the best brand yet, although I'm not going, I, if I knew who they were, I'd tell you, let's see if they have anything here in the in, in, in the manual. Well, it's written in all different languages, but nowhere, 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 nowhere does it tell you who actually makes these products. Okay, well, you know, as you know, they come from China and they're a dime a dozen, and as long as you don't mind Timu or Sheen, um, they're the place to go get them. Okay, the very first thing I'm gonna do is these two both have been finished, and then we're gonna color and use fabric medium, but for her sake, I wanted to show her how easy this is. Now, I'm gonna pull out my very gross bottle of fabric medium. You all have seen it before. It's my favorite bottle, by the way. I, I, I keep it refilled on a regular basis. So, as I have mentioned, um, particularly with my denim shirts, and that's, by the way, another reason I'm putting this out there is because so many people have started requesting information about the denim shirts, but what I'm going to show you is applicable to both the denim shirts and any fabric that you decide to use acrylic markers on. Wait, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take that back for just a moment. Uh, these don't work very well. 100% polyester. In fact, when you are using or getting ready to contemplate your fabric, it really needs to be at least 50% cotton because the fabric medium needs to be absorbed by the fibers. And then once it's heat set, it melts into those fibers and, and catches the color into the fibers. And that's what allows it to be washed over and over again. Um, so I do wanna stand corrected. It's 50-50 blend at most, and preferably a organ an organic fabric such as cotton, silk, uh, linen. Now, I'm about ready to start doing stuff on silk. I'm not there yet, um, but I have dabbled with it in the past, and I know some of you have talked to me about this at shows and in classes. Um, stay tuned on that, but again, back to, to, the, to the focus of this discussion. As always, I can always sidetrack myself if I let myself. Okay, the fabric medium that I'm going to use here, and you know what I'm going to do for this one, whatever zooms in the, to the, oops, let's see if I can get this up. Yeah, I know, I haven't fixed my stand yet. So I'm dealing with this little wag job thing that I've got on top of my, um, cases here, but I think you can see this. Let's just do this a little bit more. And I'm only going to do a, a, a just short demo because I think once you see it, um, it's, it's really super easy to figure this out. Okay, so let's work with the blue one. Um, I colored it probably about two hours ago. It's definitely dry. So that's the very first thing you're going to want to make sure you do is once you've colored it, 
and I'll color a little bit over here to give you a demo, but, but now what I want to do is I want to just coat it with fabric medium. And <laughs> this, is, this is how I do it. I just start slathering the stuff on because acrylic's dry. And all you're trying to do right now, and try to get it up here, don't get this outside of the lines, by the way, particularly if you're using my pearlescent, because you'll get this shiny glow outside and you may or may not like that. So just be careful as you're putting it in, in small areas. But the rest of this, this is how I'm doing it. Just coat it. Don't let it pool or puddle. Um, but this is, this is what I do when I'm doing my denim shirts. It's even easier. I usually use a much bigger brush. I just grabbed one um, to show you. Now, here's, here's a, a nice note. Um, these colors are not running, okay? So uh, that's a good sign too. If, if at any time you start seeing your colors maybe start to run, stop immediately. It just means that the color needs to dry some more. And let me just move down the way here. I don't want to take up too much time. You know, I can tell how much you guys watch my videos and you guys get about a third of the way through. So I'm sorry. Honestly, I have lots of good information. Go back and watch the remaining two thirds of videos that you may have seen earlier. I, I really do try to put it out. Either that or I'm gonna to have to learn how to talk in three minute sound bites. And I always don't feel like I get enough uh, information out to you. So. So don't hesitate to watch videos you've seen in the past all the way through because I really do provide some really good information towards the end of most of my videos. Um, on the other hand, I don't blame you because, hey, I can't hardly sit and watch beyond five minutes for most videos. And uh, there's a lady up in the Plano area who made comment to that in class. And as one other fellow student told her, well, you know, you can always put it on pause get up, do something else, and then come back to it and, and restart it. And she was like, oh, what a great idea. So so bear that in mind too. You don't have to watch the thing all in one sitting. Um, I wouldn't, um, so so don't. I won't take offense if you tell me that's how you do it. Okay, great, so you notice how quickly that went. Now, you can't see this, but since it's my pearlescent, it put a nice bunch of little bling, 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 bling. Um, so I'm going to do that to this one over here, but that's going to be off camera. I'm not going to bore you with that. Now, again, for my lovely young friend who said you are never too old to learn anything new, and she is starting to do this. Uh, she's brand new at all this. That's why she, she contacted me, and I was quite honored that she would be willing to, to ask me that question to, to get her a, a decent answer. So I'm going to just, let's see. Oh. It's in here. I, I'm going to just show you how easy this is. Um, I'm using red. Now I'm trying to go a little bit outside because these are henna, doodled, zentangled, whatever you want to call them. Um, I'm just going to come in here and start coloring. I'm starting to develop quite the affinity to these acrylic markers. It does require that extra step of putting the fabric medium on. But as you saw, that's no big deal. Um, for whatever reason, fabric markers, now I just got a shipment in from Arteza. Number one, I'm gonna warn you, they're going up in costs. Oops, made a boo-boo there. Oh, let me show you this. This is the good part. I'll, I'll, I'll quit talking about Arteza for a minute. So I made a boo-boo there, right? Okay, here is the reason to really love um, these these markers and let me find a color that i want to use there hmm how about a nice light mm, we'll, we'll go with kind of a dark gold color how's that it's one of the colors that i used over here and i want to show you how easy this is and this is the reason for acrylic markers do you see that the acrylic marker this yellow almost completely hides that and I think that's why I want to start recommending these to people more often is I know many of you, when you try to go fix something with a fabric marker, because the ink is translucent, you often can't hide it unless you use something like a white acrylic marker or the boo-boo pen or AKA whiteout. 
Um, and I'm, I'm feeling like white out as good as it is, is not necessarily the answer either. Um, in fact, I'll be selling this for this first time sets of white acrylic markers that I've tested and I feel work better in a way than um, the Boo Boo Pen or AKA white correction ink for typewriters. So that's it. That's all you have to do. And then you can continue coloring. There's no rhyme or reason for coloring. You know, um, this stuff dries almost instantly. Um, see, I just pressed my finger against that red and it's already dry. Let me try the yellow. Um, it's already dry too. So these dry very, very fast. Um, when you are looking for these sets, let me show you something here. And I think this is a clue. Uh, again, look for these ones. Let me just see if you can see this. Oops, nope. Let me turn around upside down, but hopefully you can see this. The word waterproof, um, UV resistant, and it's water-based. Uh, these sin tend to be the ones um, that work the best. I Yesterday, I washed a bunch of denim shirts with these acrylic markers on them that I had set and heat set with fabric medium. They all came out of the wash looking great. So, so that's it. Um, so my dear friend who is just teaching herself how to do this, I hope this helps for you. For any of the rest of you who are watching, I hope you get something out of it as well. So as always, thanks for watching.